these cows, you know, like they owe you money. Get that cow. <laughs> slap them. <laughs> Get that cow. Like, no, no, don't <laughs> slap me. <laughs> ah, be slapped. Welcome back to Jack and Daxter. Jack and Dax. Same game as TV, nothing changes but the game. And the game has changed to classic 3D platformer in the vein of... Uh, PS2. Naughty Dog. Oh, well, you can, you can technically call this playthrough Mac and Daxter. Mac and Daxter. You guys were supposed to start naming 3D platform. Oh. Mario. Kazooie. Oh. Oh, Banjo Tooie. How about, uh... Crash Bandercurt. Bandercurt. Ratchet and Clank. Richard and Clank. <laughs> Richard and Clank. Richard. You gotta punch these cows. Because they're being bad cows. Get, wow. get in there, cow. Just making it to Wagyu, huh? Get in there, Make cow. it into Wagyu. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. Damn, oh. you slap that cow, Aaron. Aaron, be nice. Slap it. Be nice. Get in there, cow. All right. Hey, you gotta treat these cows, you know, like they owe you money. <laughs> get that cow. Slap them. <laughs> get that cow. No, no, don't <laughs> slap me. Ah, he slapped. Me. Man, is that what you would do when you're a kid, Aaron? No, man. Gotta respect for all animals. These aren't animals. This is just a collection of zeros and ones. That's true. On a fucking disc. <laughs> me and me and Aaron went to Taco Del Mar earlier. He had a veggie burrito. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian, but when I go to Taco Del Mar, I am. Why? You don't like their meat? That, yeah, the meat just doesn't look good, man. It just sits there in a pan all day and collects juices. What? what? The meat? Is, they always like drip stuff when they're like taking the spoons out. A little cross um, flavoring. Cross pollination. Cross flavoring, dude. <laughs> cross yeah, you know flavoring. what? I think I'm gonna stop getting the meat there too, because I had some like carnitas and chicken and I just didn't like it. It was not Yeah, the meat doesn't taste good. It's just good. like it's it just was... like formless uh uh texture. And it hurts my stomach every time I eat it. I don't know why I keep going back. What the fuck? Because yeah. you're addicted. I'm addicted. You're addicted. I'm addicted to you. Oh wait, now how does that song go? <laughs> I'm a dick! Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, Taco Namari is delicious to me, dude. I love the carnitas there. It's nice and salty and, and, and soft and it just like falls apart in your mouth. Salty? Funny, usually like uh, people of Mexican extraction are, you know, oh man, that's not real stuff. Mexican extraction? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, it's, it's really only white people that complain about not good Mexican food. Yeah, dude, all the Mexicans I know love Taco Del Mar. <laughs> and, and Chipotle for that matter, dude. Everyone loves Chipotle. I have never eaten at a Chipotle. Wow. They have good food. Uh, it's because I saw that, that fucking episode of South Park that had um, <laughs> Billy Mays after Billy Mays died. Oh, yeah. And he was, he was hawking that product called Chipotle away. It was <laughs> like a, a detergent that takes the blood stains out of your underwear after you eat Chipotle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does that really happen to people? Uh, I... If the sound, if the South Park people did it, then it has to have some roots in some kind of reality. I mean, I guess beans, beans really mess up like people's stomach, huh? But I was, I was, uh, I forgot if I was talking to it about somebody if I read it somewhere about how like different cultures, like stuff is easier on their stomach, you know? Oh sure. Like, uh, you know, like a lot of like uh, Asian countries, you know, uh -huh. they can't have. Or like milk is like not really a thing there, as much as it is in a place like Europe, dude, where it's like milk and root vegetables. The land of milk and root vegetables. Is that really what it is out there? No. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say the land of milk and honey, but then you said root vegetable. Went with it. And that's true, right? It's like potatoes, leeks, onions. No, yep. Europeans love their root veggies. All like super pale foods. Because it's like they lived in colder climates. So they had to have food that grew underground, you know? Yeah, yeah. Whereas people who live in hotter climates, they got the, the more of like fruits and stuff that goes above grounding. Alright, so I'm playing the game this time. We are in the Forbidden Temple. I think we're making progress. Isn't it, where's be where are beans from, dude? Beans? Yeah. They're South American, right? Because my family eats them. <laughs> <laughs> It must be true. I mean, you know, beans, do beans mess up your stomach, Donnie? Uh, no, dude. It's like peppers and stuff that fuck my stomach up. Peppers and cheese? Uh, and hot stuff? Maybe not cheese. I can handle some hot stuff, but like, 
Habaneros in particular just really like mess my stomach up. Woo! Habaneros, I'll get you, man. You like habaneros, man? Oh, I fucking love them, man. Anything spicy, the more the better. I used to be that way, but like now my now I can't like I don't know get stomach aches. Oh, you're becoming a man. Getting old. <laughs> I love spicy food, but I hate like pooping it out, dude. <laughs> it sucks. That's like, the best part, dude. You don't like that? Oh my god. <laughs> you get off on that, bro? Yeah, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> of course not. It's <laughs> Aaron, awful. Dude. Aaron's eating spicy food. And he's like, I can't wait to shit this He's out like there. rubbing his hands together <laughs> deviously. Going out than going in. It's like, Aaron, he farted. And he's like, I know. Ew. <laughs> that doesn't wait. even make sense. Well, I mean, if you enjoy like the burning sensation coming out your rear end, he's like, oh. Yes, sir. Give me that. <laughs> He wipes oh, with a fucking jalapeno leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's Man, fucked. the worst I ever had was uh, when I went to China years ago. <laughs> we, we were in um, some town. I think, I think it might it might have been Hong Kong. But we were at this place called the Aberdeen Floating Restaurant. And uh, they, we, they on each table, they had a little pan of the, or a little uh, thing of those really hot Mongolian peppers. Oh, yeah. And my friend was like, man, I'll give you fucking 10 American bucks to eat the whole thing, you know? Yeah. And so I, I just did, you know, because I'm a kid and I'm in Hong Kong. So I'm just like, oh, I'm going to eat the whole thing, you know? And then, like, I literally almost couldn't make it <laughs> the next day to go on our day's events, you know? Your stomach was that fucked up? Oh, yeah. I was, like, on the fucking toilet just, like, Every, like, dying, five minutes? Like, we're leaving in five minutes, man. Get on the bus. And I'm just like... <laughs> You're just like sweating. <laughs> yeah, sweating. Fucking, <laughs> oh, man. And it's already like 110 degrees that's anyway. You know? That's what habaneros do to me, dude. But I pulled it together. Like you, know those, you know those Mongolian hot peppers, man. Mm -hmm. Those things are fucking not a joke, man. Dude, I've totally had... I've eaten it on accent, like in my Kung Pao chicken. Uh-huh. Because, you know, sometimes you're not looking at what you're eating, right? You just stuff it in your fucking face. <laughs> you stuff it down your pile. Yeah, and then you like... You kind of like take that like acrid bite. That first acrid like... <laughs> Mm. You're like, mm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you pull it out, but by the time you pull it out, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> That's what she said. Ooh. Hey. I gotta have them tubes. Uh, Tied. Uh, oh! It's actually not that tough. I'm just, I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah, getting used to the controls again. Oh! Because uh, I pretty much 100% in this game when I was a kid. Got every power cell, every precursor orb. Completionist. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. Right, got one. So it's basically like Mario, you know, or like Banjo Kazooie, where you collect like puzzle pieces in that, right? Yeah, pl puzzle pieces in Banjo Kazooie, Mario. You got the stars yep. and the moons. It's a trope. All right, we turned back the blue eco vents. So now that turn, that's like this is like a Switch Palace. I just turned on blue eco vents all over the world. Nice. Sweet. And in uh. Crash Bandicoot, it was like fucking like it was like those like those weird like heads, right? The masks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Voodoo okay. masks or whatever. I don't fucking know. Fucking voodoo magic. Ah, okay, jump. Whoa. Whee! That's cool. Uh, three D platforming. What are the really good games around PlayStation Two? Oh man, PlayStation Two had the best games. Man. I know, but I'm just like, was that one fucking, uh, that one game called, uh, Dark Sword or something like that, or Dark, Dark, Dark Souls? Cloud? Dark Cloud, yeah. Is that any good? Did uh, you ever play that one? I played Dark Cloud 2, uh -huh. and I uh, really had a fun time with it. Yeah. I can't even remember what games I played on PS2, dude. I didn't really have that, I had like fighting games, I had like Tekken Tag Tournament, and like, I had all the Grand Theft Autos. Oh yeah, I had all those too. I have, I have almost all of them now. I didn't have that many games. I had Xeno Saga and I had Awful. I know I had Final Fantasy X. I think those were my the only games I had for PS2. Oh yeah, ten was really good. Oh Metal Gear Solid, uh oh, Snake Eater. I had Snake Eater too. Snake Eater was amazing. Oh yeah, that was an amazing game. Did you ever play that, Aaron? Uh no, I never played any of those games. Oh yeah. Snake Eater's the best though, dude. Like, it's, it's crazy intense. Just, uh, like hiding in the jungle and shit. Yeah, it's so much different than any other Metal Gear game and he's fucking dead i did it good job. Nice. sorry I was, I was doing a boss right there i couldn't uh, no i've never Contact. played any of the metal gear games i love snake do you have snake do you have snake eater dying oh oh you know what i got is sons of liberty that's pretty cool dude sons of liberty and snake eater camp came so far apart i feel like 
Snake Eater came out towards the end of the PS2's life. What are you talking about, man? PS2 still going strong, dog? <laughs> I bet they're still active development for it, huh? Well, it seems like these days, little teams can make games for pretty much any uh, operating system, you know? Yeah. Which I always thought, when I was originally uh, playing, oh, but it already saved from beating the boss. Good night, I used to play games when I was a kid. I'm like, well, you know, even when their new systems come out, people can still make games for the Genesis if they wanted to, you know? Right. And so that's what we're seeing now with the, the dev teams that make uh, games for the system, you know? New Sonic style fucking games. Yeah, like indie retro type of yeah. gaming. Well, I'm glad the scene is like what it is now. I wonder what the process is like to make a game, dude, and like adapt it to like a platform. It's you no know, hard, easy since people do it. Because I've read that they've like made games on computers. Obviously, they're all made on computers, right? Yeah. Like on PC and stuff. And like. <laughs> we make analog games, bro. <laughs> We make it from scratch. Roll the hoop with this stick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, there's there's like stories of like like a development team making a game, you know, on computers, and then they have to adapt it uh -huh. to like a PlayStation, and they have to downgrade a bunch of shit because like it won't run. Sure. Or it won't run well. Different systems had different uh, you know, strengths. But like what? Like I wonder what it looks like then. Is it like a desktop application that you open up? And so like, here's the PS2 creator. Oh, yeah. Here's the dev kit for the PS2. Yeah, like, what's the dev kit look like? You know, that's my question. Yeah. Must be pretty cool. Well, you got the guys who do the textures and wrap it around the 3D models to make the graphics. The guys that fucking do the, uh, the coding to make everything work with the interface and the controls and everything. Like, physics mechanics and, like... Yeah. We're programming the engines and stuff. Man, that sounds so boring. Yeah, oh but, yeah, man. Coding is not uh, not a glamorous lifestyle. Well, how do you get there? You know, like who who takes that path? Tons of people, dude. People who are really studious and can pay attention, like really closely to no long strings of numbers and symbols and letters, and know exactly what they do. You know. Huh. All right, I've walked around this thing three times. Thought there was a platform somewhere to get. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Like everyone I ever met, always wants to like be like front of house. Video game shit, you know, they like, like want to make characters or like yeah, yeah. make the music for it or something. And then you get the guys who like, I want to fucking code for 10 hours a day. There we go. Right I've there. never met one of those guys in person. They're a rare breed. Yeah, probably because they don't hang out in person. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not in the bars. They're just at home coding all the time. Damn. All right, so That's here we raw. go. Especially nowadays, dude, with the new games, there's so much coding, dude, to like make. Oh, imagine how much coding is in like a Call of Duty game or something. Fucking... Probably recycle that code for Call of Duty. Oh, sure. <laughs> Once I got the engine, you get the fast part of your code is already done. Now what I'm doing is I turned on the blue eco beam and I'm putting the fucking uh, mirrors back because it's got to go to the town. Like how we get our power. Basically, this, this uh, civilization... Has a much is built on the bones of a much older civilization, so we don't understand how any of this stuff works, but we just know that it does work and uh, just live off of it. That's pretty cool. Like imagine uh, that like little snake. Future, future America after the apocalypse. You know, people got the hydroelectric dams. They don't know how it works. They just know they can get power out of it. That's weird, huh? All right, where was that other one? Oh no! Ah, I fucking died. What, Aaron? Uh, <laughs> well, at least it was like a quick recovery. Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. Sometimes you get these long cut scenes where, like, where Daxter will deliver a fucking a, a burning one-liner. Mm. Oh, I missed the fucking scout fly. This is what I needed. All right, focus it. That's down here. There it is. Oh boy! Okay, so which way did it go? Why is that snake following you, dude? It wants to eat me, dude! Oh, I was about <laughs> to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. You look very lovely to eat. Can I tell you something? I think the next one is over here. Alright, here's where the third person uh, aspect comes in handy. Gotta see. I thought it was inside his eyelid. <laughs> 
What is that supposed to be? A, a telescope? Something like that. Daxter's eye? Daxter's eye view. Yeah. But it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Yep. Till next time on Same Gamers. Thanks for watching, guys. SGTV out. Thank you.